New information this morning. You can now get a closer look at what's going on at the Sangamon County Animal Control and Adoption Center. This after the center was accused of animal abuse, and they're now posting quarterly reports about the number of animals they take in, return owners, and euthanize. Our Kyra Willis has more on why Animal Control started doing this and takes a look at the numbers coming out of the report. The reports are a response to allegations of abuse at the Sangamon County Animal Control and Adoption Center. Shelter officials say that the report allows residents to hold them accountable. And it's just influx of animals, so we just needed to be a, a little bit more transparent with our information. Sangamon County Animal Control Director Jeannie Keenan says the purpose of the report is to be more transparent with residents who may want to know exactly what's going on at the facility. I think it's kind of made it to where the community understands what we're going through in the, in the building and what, how many animals we intake, how many animals make it out of here um, with the live release rate, um, and just kind of shows what all the work we do here in the building. Sangamon County board members say while last year's investigations by the Illinois State Police and Department of Agriculture showed no evidence of professional misconduct, they're open to being transparent. It was important to us to have open and transparent government so that the community could see the, the effort that we were putting forth and making sure that we had the best um, um, services to our constituency, but also services to our four-legged friends. Jill Ejizi, who runs local animal rescue, Wild Canine Rescue, agrees things have improved over the last year. We couldn't get those numbers before, and there was everything was cloaked in sort of a veil of darkness. Now it's pretty, pretty open, and um, numbers are available for anyone to request. There's a year's worth of reports available on the Sangamon County Animal Controls website. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Kyra Willis. Back to you. Thank you, Kyra. Now, Sagamon County Animal Control has released statistics every three months since July 2022. You can find those reports over on our website.